Hello everybody and welcome to an updated video tour of my server room. Granted it is going to be kind of messy but that's because I'm waiting for the time to come to where my whole house was Ethernet. So that's what it looks, looks uh, disorganized and I apologize for that but in time things will get better and very strictly organized. Uh, this server that you see here, this is my web server. My d domain controller, my DNS server, my DHCP server, and a file server. And uh, it's got two, one terabyte hard drive for total two terabytes. And it's um, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 2.4 gigs Xeon process, single core, but it runs, it runs pretty good. Uh, it runs Windows Server uh, in evaluation, but uh, I'm working to put more hard drives in this, but uh, I'm living into how many hard drives because of the uh, SATA uh, controller. But I think there's a, there's ways around that. Moving upwards here, we're gonna see uh, that on your right there, right here, is the battery backer. Does it doesn't VA uh, cyber power? I uh, had zero problems with them, and they're excellent. My monitor, which I use it to go and work on, on my server and also any French computers that need my help fixing their computers. And so it's very useful to have a monitor there. And if you're to the left of the monitor, that other uh, black box over there, that's also a, a server board with 1000 VA uh, battery backup. And that helps uh, keep everything powered on when it comes to routers, modems, networking equipment, servers, and monitors. And, and again, sorry for the mess of cables. I know it could be a lot better. And I just can't wait to get my uh, whole house wired with Ethernet. So I don't have to. I have, to, I have to really, really keep my heart as limited. I'm going to be moving right up, slowly, for you. And we're going to keep it up, up. And what do you see there? It's a square box. That is a router. It's, a, it's running IP fire. Yeah, I got my, my network separating to two uh, VLANs, you could call it. The, that this router is responsible for my the VLAN that has all my domain anything in really internal type of stuff and I, and I built this shuttle using basic parts from eBay and the most money that I spent on this thing was 60 bucks so I'm, I'm very proud of this machine it's very very uh, low end it's just it's very um, uh, profile hardware, but it does a good job of routing, and that's what I need it for. And it's very, I can do a lot of things that I can do very, uh, I can do virtual interfaces, and so I never have to run out of IP addresses, and so on and forth. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you forward here, and let me see here, and right above the router I have my Cisco SG100D0AP switch and this switch is a power origin switch the first four ports are the other four are, are just regular uh, ports on the switch and as far as POV I have one device which is my neck gear which is that yellow cable on the left there which is being paired via the POA and also giving network access. And and it's very and this is an unmanaged switch. And when we go up even further, 
I'm, I'm going to show you the neg gear switch for two. Uh, next door here, let me move this tape out of the way, is my UB modem. This does routing as well as wireless. It's set up to, uh, to have an initial NAT, I mean, network, network address translation, and also you you see the two lights here. I'm gonna try to go real close for you. Uh, um, I know it's kind of hard, but the green light here that goes to the router, and the router here is set up as a when it goes to the router, it's set up as a WAN side. Okay, the blue one, this green one, goes to Neg gear, okay, which is a different VLAN. So this is why I just split off into different VLAN, VLANs. And I can actually create more VLANs if I have more routers, obviously. But I just keep it simple. I just have two VLANs, one for the uh, guest, both wired and wireless uh, features that I'm, I, I can provide so that um, nobody can get into my internal network the, the, the way I designed it to and I'm gonna go further here moving right along and you gonna see here my Western YouTube I uh, book drive this is a one ter two ter excuse me two terabyte Western Union terabyte drive over the network uh, and here's my matchup backup. I don't use that a lot. There's not a network attached storage, but it is. You can plug it into your USB and copy files on it. And I'm just the type of person that likes to keep backups. I mean, uh, I think that's a great, especially when you accidentally did that one point five that you really needed it, you know, to you know, make your day or, you know, make things better. Um, so, while we're up here, I'm going to try to move here, here, here. Sorry for the noise. This is my netbook, uh, Acer Aspire 1. It's got, it's from Linux Lite. I use it to do a lot of my uh, network administration and uh, even though most people think that these are pieces of junk you'd be surprised that you know you can load Linux simple copy of Linux and then these won't just break uh, if you know if you're going to be doing network administration and moving to over here and there's the next gear switch which is totally powered by the uh, uh, yellow cable here because it's it's fitting off the of my Cisco uh, PoE switch and I and I have just two VLAN set up here and basically anything at the port number two which which is at, which is at the yellow cable is a different VLAN that's the guest VLAN and then. Uh, that blue cable that you see over in the back, uh, that goes to a, uh, not power, it's in a power line injector, which basically I run, I use the outlets in my house to run uh, networking, and it goes to my bedroom, but I really want to get away from that one true gigabit speed, because you know, there's a nice one, but you know, I, I think we, I think you can probably agree with me that we need some improvements around here. So that's it for today. Like always, have a good one, and thank you for watching. <laughs>